Yo, sometimes you don't got time for that long grind against the CPU, or you don't want to bother with playing against users in Unlimited. That's why you got to hit up my boy Cliff2 underscore 3 on Twitter, help you with all your grinding needs. Let's go. Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It's your boy RCA the Great. We're back with another video for you guys. Today, we're just going to be browsing through my team and talking about trophy case players and what centerpiece um, completion I'm going to be doing next and who I think I should be added to my team. I did stream a little bit earlier playing some clutch time and I was able to get my next centerpiece, but I am not sure what I want to do or who I want to put on my team. There's so many directions this can go and so many reasons why I will do one thing with the other. So I kind of need you guys' help out there in YouTube land. With that said, we are on the road to 15,000 subscribers. So I also need your help in dropping a like and leaving a comment as we are on the road. Like I said, I'm trying to get my YouTube back where I had it. I was away at the Air Force, but we are back. So my current team is right here and I am doing very well with them. I'm starting to get used to the game. It's, it was a learning curve for me because I just got back playing as much as I used to before. But we're doing well. We have very good balance of offense and defense. We got Iverson, Sprewell, Kawhi Leonard, Jason Tatum, Will Chamberlain. Then we got Marcus Smart, who is a dog out there. If you guys are worried why I have him, he's really good. J.R. Smith, Carmelo, Anthony Karolinko, Joel Embiid. Then we have some bench players that I put in just in case I need. Giannis comes in pretty often, and Danny Green comes in for Sprewell or J.R. Smith if I need some extra defense. So the hole that I'm looking at, I really do think this card right here, this Andre Karolinko, who is very good, He's my weakest link currently. I'm not even going to be thinking about Marcus Smart because he's so good on defense. Andre Karolinko can be replaced. Um, and I do think I would like somebody like uh, James Worthy, Kevin McHale. Someone mentioned Anton Jameson, although I don't like Anton Jameson that much just because I didn't like him in real life. So I don't want to put him on my team. Derrick Rose or Russell Westbrook would be cool, but I also don't rock with Russell Westbrook cards. And Derrick Rose is too rim running for me like i don't even want to i don't even want him on my team because i'll just run to the rim all day and i do believe marcus smart gets the job done defensively for me iverson has actually been very very good for me so far although he is smaller if you know how to defend pretty well he's going to be pretty good for you i'll show you guys some footage of iverson going to work in my team Um, but overall, my team is good. Jason Tatum and J.R. Smith are by far my favorite players. So let me show you guys what I'm looking at so far as far as my collections. It's not very much. I don't have many collections done, but I do have 76ers complete, 5 out of 15 for the Bulls, 0 out of 15 for the Celtics, sadly. And the 76ers and the Celtics are in the same division. So if I want to complete the division and get the reward card, I need to complete their full division. That's the Celtics and the Nets that I would have to get done. Going over to the West Coast, we got the Lakers with three out of 15 done, and then the Nuggets and the Jazz are my next closest. I do have six out of 15 for Gordon Hayward, but I don't want to run him at power forward. Although he could, I don't want him there. So I kind of wasted like six. I thought I was going to be going for Gordon Hayward. And then I ended up backing off of it. So let me know what you guys' input is on who you guys think I could be looking to get. I really do want to get this Kevin McHale just because he can play both the center and power forward position. Has a good shot. 7'11 wingspan. Defends all over the court pretty well. And the kicker is that he's in the same division as my um, Allen Iverson. If he was not... I would 100% be trying to get this James Worthy because James Worthy can do everything on the court as well. And he has a little bit better base stats all around than Kevin McHale does as far as defensive abilities. 
but either one of them would be able to help my team greatly for what I currently have going on. So I'm really trying to figure out which one I want to do. I currently do have a trophy cake, I mean, a, um, a, a centerpiece sitting in my collection right now, just waiting to be opened up. And I don't know what team I want to put it on. So I'm just going to start going towards getting more um, items collected for this, for the trophy case, so I can figure out who I want to add to my team. But I definitely want you guys' opinion. Who's working for you? Who are you liking so far? And what modes have you been playing mostly to get your centerpieces? I've currently done Unlimited and Clutch Time Online. My next one is going to be Triple Threat. And I play a lot of these modes and I just play around trying different moves and stuff. When I'm going for the centerpiece, I'm going to be trying to win. So I don't even know how many wins I need in this mode to get the um, the centerpiece, but I'm probably going to be playing this next. Um, just to get that next centerpiece card so I can get one of those because I am going to want Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler is one of my favorite players in the NBA. I do think he's going to be a very, very good card. Um, although there's a lot of 3 and D players out there, I would rather have him than, um, than some of the other cards that are available out there. So let me know what you guys think, man. Who should I be going for for my next centerpiece card? Is this something that, you know, there's one card just better than the others? I don't think so out there because there's a lot of people that said, Iverson wasn't good in the way that Iverson has been doing for me He's been killing it and then watching the 250k qualifiers Iverson was going absolutely bananas against some of the top players that said he was not even good So you really sometimes can't take many opinions out there. You just got to do what you need to do But I really want to know who's working for you guys who are you like and who you're not like and how many centerpieces Do you already have how many pink diamond players do you already have on your team from the trophy case? Um, and like I said, a lot of these players, I don't wish to sell back right now. They do complete my team pretty well. My team is pretty well balanced. And I just need that one more, um, that one more guy out there that's really going to turn us up. And I do think that's going to be Kevin McHale or James Worthy. Overall, um, my team is pretty good. I still have not been able to get Scotty Pippen. I'm still working towards that. Only four days left. Not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. But these centerpieces, I do like playing online, so I do have triple threat left, and I do think I'm going to collect another one of those so that I can move towards that card. But man, hopefully you guys are doing well out there. This was just a quick video for you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying the week. We got Monday coming up. Enjoy it, man. Hopefully you guys get to play some 2K, move towards your goals in the game. We got another 250K qualifier in November, so if you guys are looking for extra tips, make sure you guys hit up that Patreon. I will be dropping more playbook videos and tip videos into YouTube as I continue playing on. And my Mind of RCA Unlimited series is going to continue on as well, man. Hope you guys are having a good day. Let me know who you think I should choose next for my centerpiece card. Catch you in the next one. Peace.